I recently had to go to the Netherlands for some stuff. And while I was there, I learned that they are bringing in prisoners from other countries in the European Union because they they are running out of prisoners. That's how their criminal justice system works. So take note, United States, there is a way around to this. We should no longer have the 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 dubious distinction of that that just diabolical incarceration rate. History is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. I was listening to the Guantanamo Bay episode and it made me pose a new question I think you might like to investigate and report on. I wonder, can you find out who the most dangerous people in the world are and where they are being held? You know, and, um, just, you know, who's the, the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst and where are we keeping them and why are they being kept alive instead of getting rid of them? That's just, that's the whole question right there. Who are these people? Where, where are they being kept? You know, think, uh, uh, Hannibal Lecter, Infinity, somebody that bad. And why can't we let them out? So I think we, uh, if you explore that, you're going to find some real creepy stuff and I'd love to hear it. So it's doing a great job. Keep it up and, uh, take it easy. What a fantastic question. I'm really excited about this one, Roadrunner. Uh, you, you have come to the right place. Uh, Matt, this one, this one really spoke to you. Huh? Are we all of the same mind on this one? I think so. I, I'm really just going to present this in a few moments here. Very fast. There is a lot. And the research is pretty extensive because it's kind of difficult sometimes to figure out who uh, a is alive and then actually yeah. where people are incarcerated, where specific criminals mm. are incarcerated. And, you know, there are some lists you can find, but not all of them are from the most reputable sources. So it's, it's right. a, this is question roadrunner. Mike is a, it's a little more difficult to answer than we can do right now. So I think we might have to make a full episode guys, but I will give you some of the information I found. Uh, there's actually a how stuff works article that I would want to reference mm -hmm. in this segment. Uh, and when we do it later in the future, it's about one particular place of incarceration, one prison, but, um, the first thing I would jump to, or at least that I found, is an article from a website called Next Luxury. I know nothing about this website. Mm -hmm. uh, I mm -hmm. don't know how I can trust a lot of the information here. Nothing is cited. It's just kind of a listicle. But it does right. mention some of the most secured sites on the planet. And without, maybe we save some of these... Uh, other international prisons, like some of them that are in Ireland and other places for a full episode. Cause I think that could be interesting. Yeah. You're talking about like spike Island. I can't wait. Yeah. yeah as soon as I heard this, this is definitely, we're going to do an episode on this and uh, our weekly listener mail segment inspires a lot of episodes. Part of the reason we're grateful for it, but this, this one might, this might have to be a two parter. Uh, previously, we did a deep dive into black sites, which are a real thing, but they're not quite answering your two part question, Roadrunner, because a lot of people in black sites are bad dudes. But then a lot of other people who were uh, literally had a bag put over their head and they were dragged to the site that doesn't exist. A lot of them were just innocents who happened to have a similar name to the person those forces were looking for. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is a dark rabbit hole. Uh, and the, and especially, you know, when we're talking about information that is being closely managed by state or interstate powers, there's some real stuff they don't want you to know here, I think. Oh but yeah. He, wanna, you know, he mentions like the Hannibal Lecter's of the world and stuff like that. And yeah, Matt, I know that these are, these are waters that you wade into a lot of the true crime shows that you help work on. I imagine these would be various like high security psychiatric institutions and the mm. like, but, but then 
the question is why do why are they kept alive if they are you know have, have done such heinous things so it's often what state of the united states they commit a crime in so whether or not there is an enforceable death penalty and then whether or not the judge they were in front of chose to uh you know give them that death penalty right and uh, like the sen in the sentencing part um those are the two main factors. And then also prisoners are often shipped around to different facilities. Sure. So And kept alive because they have to face related charges, mm -hmm. especially if, they're, if they've committed crimes in more than one state. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to just give you one example of kind of a, a prison that is in itself folklore to an extent, but it's also got inmates who are a part of the American story of some of the major crimes that have occurred in this country. Uh, it's a place that's known as ADX. It's in a, it's in Florence, Colorado. There is a, an, an old how stuff works article. You can read right now. If you want to just jump in right now at this moment, it's titled the Alcatraz of the Rockies. Uh, there's a subtitle. I'm not going to, it's just, it says why no one ever escapes from ADX Florence. Um, this is mm -hmm. a, this is the maximum of the maximum security prisons, like super maxes that exists on planet Earth, really, uh, because of its location and because primarily of how it handles individual inmates. This place, according to what I've read thus far, keeps inmates for 23 out of 24 hours in a day in solitary confinement and does not allow much, if any, interaction between prisoners. So it is really just, it's a place to go and you will, it's putting someone in a hole. Basically that is what ADX Florence is. Some people, and when, the reason I'm talking about American folklore and the story of crime in this country, you've got Ted Kaczynski, who I think is still incarcerated there. But again, this is stuff I need to look up and confirm before I can tell you precisely, but Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, I believe is still there. The person responsible for the Boston marathon bombing, uh, several others, I think Eric Rudolph, who was a notorious bomber of abortion clinics, the person, and maybe a few people, I think at least the primary person responsible for the first, uh, bombing of the world trade center is there in ADX Florence. It just, a lot of the, the super bads that you're, just, you're talking about mm -hmm. here, Roadrunner, like they are at ADX Florence in the, just in Colorado in the middle of nowhere. Another thing that we'll get into, like, sometimes I just have research locked and loaded that I, I just I put on ice uh, until we have a, a relevant episode for it. Uh, another thing to consider, Roadrunner, is uh, the prisons outside of the U.S., which often function in very different ways. I'm thinking specifically of places like Brazil, where there are, are prisons run by inmates. I'm thinking also the fascinating, terrifying story of uh, some South African prisons and the prison gangs that run those places. Then, of course, uh, you can see you can see a couple of interesting things in Russia as well. One thing that was weird, a little optimistic. Uh, get this: the la uh, I was recently. <clears throat> I recently had to go to the Netherlands for some stuff, and while I was there, I learned that they are bringing in prisoners from other countries in the European Union because they they are running out of prisoners. That's how their criminal justice system works. So take note, United States, there is a way around to this. Uh, you got to fill those no beds the, here. The the dubious distinction of that that just diabolical incarceration rate but yes there are very dangerous people such that there are laws written specifically to remove what you would consider their human rights is that for good reason and in some cases absolutely but there is much more of the story matt this and matt roadrunner this is a fantastic idea and where else are we going to get our unpaid labor yeah <laughs> yeah